Hello, I'm Wayne with ModularHydro.com. We're going to show you how to set up your favorite pot, whether it's open end or what we call closed end, no drain holes on the bottom, utilizing the air injection technology for soil. They both, the installation is exactly the same. The only difference when uh, growing in a pot with holes in the bottom or drain holes, you're, you're going to want to have a saucer. Now it's important that this saucer be at least one quarter inch to a half inch. Quarter inch is fine on the minimum size. Half inch is really perfect. What this is going to do, this is going to allow you to maintain your water level on a regular basis. You're going to place your pot into your saucer and that's how you're going to maintain your water level. Remember with uh, growing with air injection technology for soil, you want the soil as saturated as possible. Now on a closed end pot, it's not needed. Now what's nice, what I like about closed end pot is, I'll give you an example, this was purchased at Walmart for $6.9.79. You can get really creative on some of these really colorful pots. And of course, when you're buying pots that have drain holes in, they're mostly black or maybe a couple unusual colors, but you can get really creative. So when this sits on your countertop, it, it just looks nice. So let's get started and show you how to do this. So let's go ahead and get started. What I did was I just took a paper towel. I like using a paper towel. And the reason why is the sure to grow, if you try and draw with a pen or even a Marksall type pen, you're just going to get it all over your hands because it's not going to absorb into the sure to grow. So what you want to do is just take a paper towel and you want to place your container on the paper towel, draw a line, and what I did was I drew the line so that the line sticks out a little bit further because I want to take into account the pot widening or the bowl widening. I want the sure to grow evenly and I'll explain this in a minute, but once I cut out my paper towel, I want to then take my sure to grow pad, place that paper towel on top, and then trace the outer edges and just cut it out. And what you end up is with this. Now what you want to do is because your airline is going to have to come up through the center of this sure to grow pad, you want to simply fold it in half like this, fold it in half again, and the very, very tip, just take your scissors and cut that off. Now what's going to happen is you're just going to cut a nice little clean hole in there and that's where your airline is going to go through. As you notice when I place this in, you want your air chamber and your water chamber up roughly about an inch and a half to two inches off the bottom of the pot. That's where your air injection technology is going to be at the bottom. So you want this sure to grow pad to touch all the way around because what you want to do is you want to keep the soil separate from the water in the air chamber. So once we did this, let me explain one more thing. If you decide that you want to drain your pot or your bucket, whatever you're using, you want to flush the root system out at any time, you can simply drill a hole in the bottom and then use what we call, it's just a simple rubber stopper. They're available at Lowe's, Home Depot. Um, most hardware stores will have these. And you're going to plug that in. This will allow you to pull this and flush your plant how you see fit. All right, once we do that, now we did add another extra. We drilled a hole in the side of the pot to allow for our air line to go through. We just think it looks a lot nicer. You can have it hang over the edge, that's fine. But we just think it looks more professional. It just looks more high tech and it looks cooler. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our air injection technology and how you measure a pot to, to figure out what size air injection technology you need. You just simply take your roller, measure the diameter of the very bottom of the pot, deduct one quarter inch, okay? On this one, measure it four and a half inches. And we're gonna use the three inch air injection technology which will be on the bottom of the pot, just like this. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and take our air line because we drilled through the side of the pot. We're going to place that through. Oh, I'm sorry, we're going to place our air injection technology in first. We're going to plug that in. It only takes one or two minutes to, to put your air injection technology together. At this point, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fill this with an aggregate. And we're using grow stones today. You can use lava rock, you can use river rock, pebbles, anything you want. Uh, you can even use hydrogen clay balls. But just make sure you rinse your media thoroughly. 
before you place it in. So what we're going to do is we've already pre-measured our grow stones. We're going to pour that in over on top of our air injection technology like this. And this is going to give us our water and air chamber. So our air injection technology is at the very bottom. Then our favorite media, we like to grow stones. And now at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to take our sure to grow pad with the hole in it that we created. And we're going to push that through our line. And we're going to set that on top of those grow stones. So here's what it looks like installed. Now we have about a two inch, inch and a half, two inch separation between the bottom of the pot and where the soil is going to go. Now at this point what you want to do is what I like to do I call charging the system. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some water and go ahead and saturate this. And I want to bring that water level up even with the top of the grow stones and the sure to grow pad. So what it's going to look like is sopping wet like this. At this point you can simply take your favorite soil and with this grow technology if you custom mix your soils you do not need the perlite or the vermiculite but it's fine if your soil has it so just about any potting soil or your favorite potting soil is just going to perform just fantastically at this point we simply dump our soil in and I want to bring it at least a quarter inch below the top of my pot now at this point go ahead and take your small plant and go ahead and transplant like you normally do in traditional soil. Transplant it, dampen it down all the way around just like you do in traditional soil and then start adding your water. So you want to totally saturate that soil. But before you do that, plug your air line in to your pump and set it at least three quarters of the way up or on full. You want to look for the air bubbles coming up top. Now we have a video specifically on how to properly water your plants, whether it's open end or closed end. Now let's show you in a three and a half or a five gallon bucket, it's basically the same. We have what we call the, uh, the uh, EcoFlow Spider for Soil, the air injection technology, Spider for Soil. And this is available online. You don't have to purchase the bucket. You can, you can buy that anywhere you want. We're just gonna show you how to prepare in a larger bucket. The principle is the same as we did in the green pot. You're going to place your AIT for soil, which is the spider, and it perfectly fits the circumference of, or the diameter of the bucket. See, the key behind this technology is the equal amounts of air coming up around the entire bucket, whether it's in a smaller pot or a larger pot, hence the different size air injection technologies. But the principle is the same. You just place that on the bottom, plug your air line in, go ahead and put your preferred media, grow stones, lava rock, river rock, whatever you want, up to about two inches, and then go ahead and take your sure to grow pads. Now it's a little bit different on the sure to grow pad. When you get it, it's going to be 10 inches by 20 inches. You just simply take it and cut it in half. Now here's what it looks like before you place it in your bucket, just like this kind of like a triangle. You don't have to cut any holes or anything. You take these two pads and simply place them down on top of your grow stones or whatever media you're using to create your water and air chamber and then fill with your soil. Same thing as this. Go ahead and do your transplant and then totally saturate everything. And remember to watch the video how to properly saturate and maintain your, the moisture and the amount of water in your soil Go to modularhydro.com and we have a video specifically just for that purpose. Again, I am Wayne with modularhydro.com. For more informative videos such as this, go to modularhydro.com. Thank you.